Concerns tonight from Alabama's Lieutenant Governor about the state's current needs and what's being done to prepare. WVTM 13's Ian Wright just spoke with the Lieutenant Governor. Ian, what did he have to say? Yeah, sure. Lieutenant Governor Will Ainsworth sent this two and a half page letter to the Coronavirus Task Force outlining some of his concerns so far with the state's response. Also talking about what needs to be done to prepare for the next several months ahead. I spoke with him just a short time ago. He says the biggest concern he has is the lack of PPE or that personal protective equipment, things like masks for do doctors and nurses. Also, the potential for an increase in patients at hospitals across the state could see. Look at potentially the surge in the future that you hear all the healthcare professionals talk about. I didn't think the some members of the task force were taking that serious enough. Um, why do I say that? I think when you look at hospital capacity and PPE, every country that's had this, that's two major shortages they've had. Other states, that's the issues they're starting to face. And those are things that, um, you know, planning ahead and actually making sure we have those things can solve. So here's the letter that he sent. The language was strong. He said, quote, a tsunami of hospital patients is likely to fall upon Alabama in the not-too-distant future. It is my opinion that this task force and the state are not taking a realistic view of the numbers or adequately preparing for what awaits us. He also talked about hearing from health specialists who are anxious about the surge and also expressed doubts in how we have prepared. Now, the lieutenant governor tells me he does not think that we are to a point where we cannot course correct, uh, but talks about now is the time to act. As they're working on that plan, he says that has to include focusing on areas that are already starting to see the largest outbreaks. Look at just where the cases are coming in. You know, our first year, we've got to make sure we beef up is Jefferson County. That's kind of the epicenter. And so, you know, I think we first got to expand additional capacity there because we're going to be overloaded there first just by the number of cases. And then I think you start looking at other areas of the state and where we're going to need additional capacity and have a plan to expand that as well. You know, Sherry, he told me that some members of the task force thanked him for bringing up these concerns in the letter that he sent to them. One other thing he stressed to me was the need for everyone to do their part. And he really stressed that social distancing we're talking about, repeating a warning he issued yesterday saying Alabama needs to wake up. He said this is a serious issue that's going to expand if everyone doesn't do their part. So we're going to have much more with the lieutenant governor coming up here at six o'clock. All right, Ian, and all of this comes as cases continue to go up across the state. At last check, we were up to 517 cases in the state. Taking a look county by county, Jefferson County continues to have the highest number of cases with 159. Shelby County, 52. Then Lee County with 47. Tuscaloosa County is next with 19 confirmed cases. Mobile has 18, while Walker County has 17. As for the rest of central Alabama, Marion is now reporting the highest number of cases at seven. St. Clair County follows with sixth, as does Coleman County. Chilton, Etowa, and Talladega counties are reporting four apiece. Calhoun County has two cases, while Pickens County has one. And you can track the new cases as we learn about them on the WVTM 13 app and website. We've got an interactive map showing where they are and just how many cases each county is reporting.